El Centro Latino invita a responder al Censo 2020. Se puede completar por correo, teléfono o en línea con la información de la carta que ya deben haber recibido. Responder beneficia a todos. El Censo distribuye millones en fondos federales a las escuelas y otros servicios públicos. Cada persona cuenta, desde el niño hasta abuelita. El Hack está listo para ayudar. Si tienes preguntas, puedes visitar la página 2020census.gov o llamar al Centro Latino al 717-232-8302. Hi everyone, welcome to another edition of Making Sense of the Census in the City. I'm Momen Bhutti, Communications Manager at the City of Harrisburg, and I'm very happy to be joined by Gloria Merrick, who is the Executive Director at LHAC, the Latino Hispanic American Community Center. Hi Gloria. Hi Momen, how are you doing? Good, how are you? Good, thanks for having me here today. Good, good. No, thanks for topic. Yes, yes. Thank you uh, again for uh, jo joining us. It's, it is a very important topic, and I wanted to talk to you about LHAC and um, what your organization is uh, doing to help get the word out. Wow, we're doing so much. First off, let me just say that uh, the Latino Center is, a, is located in Allison Hill, and it is a targeted area for the census because we have always traditionally had a low uh, low count rate in the Allison Hill area. So with that said, this year, the Latino Center has been tapped to serve as a, a, as a critical partner in, in trying to get the Latino Hispanic American community out to complete the census. And so because we are a community center, and we are connected to, right there in Allison Hill to all of the community, not just the Latino community, it makes sense. So we wrote a grant to the Department of Community Economic Development to obtain some funding to help us with this outreach. And we received that grant and now we're in the midst of doing a whole lot of things in Allison Hill. So let me just tell you, um, you know, with that funding, we were able to run PSAs, public service announcements. And uh, those public service announcements are targeted, again, they're in Spanish and they're targeted to the Latino population. The other, the other logic behind having the Latino Center as a partner is that, you know, we're connected to the community. We're helping pay people with their systemic needs. So we can help them connect the dots to why the census is important. For example, I had a woman that uh, was saying, you know, well, I don't know why, you know, why do I need to complete the census, you know? And I said, well, let me ask you, do you receive Medicare? Yes. Oh, do you have, live in housing? Yes. Do you, use, do you get transportation? Yes. Okay. And you connect the dots with them and they say, yes. Yeah. Do you know where that money comes from? It comes from the federal government. And do you know that pays for you to be able to have those services? You want to count because you want to make sure that money is coming into this area so you can continue to get those services. Where do I sign? Right, <laughs> just, that's all it takes, yeah, sometimes. It's just I, the education, yeah. Where do I sign? Right. And so it's just, and we're able to say that in Spanish, and they trust us because it's where they come for the basic human needs. It's where they come from, food, clothing, shelter, any questions that they have, and they, they trust us. And, uh, you know, so, so they we're able to uh, convince them that it's a good thing to do. And yes, and, and to your point with education, I, and so that's what I do. I connect parents to the why, why do the census. And that's what my staff does. And we do make calls and you have kids in school. Yes, they get free lunch. Yes, okay, great. Well, you know, that money comes through the census indirectly because those federal dollars are given to our area based on how many people and what our count is. And do you know that your count right now, $2,000 for every person that completes the census on average, that counts for about $2,000 per person right now. And right. so that, that's really important. I think that's what's missing, um, what's been missing in our community. And so I'm hoping to get the numbers up. That's my goal by, you know, our motto is making connections toward making a difference. And so that is not just connecting people and companies and organizations, but it's also about connecting people to what they're, what, to how they can be civic minded and why it's important to vote, why it's important to do the census and those kinds of things. Why do you think the numbers have been traditionally low? Well, I think that trust level, that trust level is something very, very um, impactful. Um, 
you know, they have somebody come to their door. Well, if you don't want somebody to come to your door, you complete the census because the enumerators go out if you don't complete your paperwork, if you don't do that census. So I think the numbers are down because traditionally, um, I think the trust is a big factor. I think when people complete the census, they don't complete it accurately as well. They might exclude babies. They might exclude, you know, other children in the family, extended family members who live there. And, you know, I, I just think it's all about educating them and, and making sure that, um, that, you know, they know who can complete that census as well. Mm -hmm. I also think that, like this year, there's being more done to do outreach and get into these communities and uh, knock on doors. And the enumerators are having some luck. Uh, I think that there's partnerships also evolving this year, like ours, that maybe haven't been there in the past. Um, so I just, I think that there's being more of an effort made to reach populations that might not get their mail. You know, we're a transient community. So when that census card goes out, it may go to that person's house, but now they're on to the next place. They're not living there. Right. And the census only covers from April 1 of 2020. So it's wherever you lived since April 1st of 2020. Right. And so some of them may not be getting their information, may not be getting their cards, but I just think that it's all about um, making an effort, outreach, and trying to be in touch with the, different, the specific pockets and demographics that have traditionally reported low numbers. Uh, you had mentioned about the trust factor. Isn't all the information that is submitted confidential? Absolutely, absolutely. All the main information is maintained in that database. It is used to generate the statistics necessary for the census. That is it, mm. the statistics. It's not, it's not there to, you know, see who lives where and, you know, connecting that to anything else and, you know, if anybody's receiving this or receiving that. And it's all confidential. It goes into a database and is specifically used for statistics for the census. And that is it. And that's 2020census.gov. And for those who um, are non-English speaking, there's a Spanish, uh, but there's a button at the top right for different languages. Uh, English and Spanish are right at the top there, and yes. people can choose that. Uh, I see Chinese, Vietnamese, Korean, there's all kinds of languages. I yes. think maybe about 60 or so, it looks like. So um, everyone should be participating. And you know, a lot of our, a lot of our, our uh, families and individuals who do not complete the census, and there's a misnomer out there that you know, maybe they're not citizens or something. But surprisingly, yes, they are citizens. They are citizens here. A lot of our families from uh, you know different different countries that are here and been here for a long time, and so it's not all about it's not a citizenship issue. Although for some, when you when you are going to knock on their doors, if you have someone who's in the process of their citizenship and is you know is is working on it and uh, and they start getting knocks at their door. You know, they get a little nervous too because, you know, they got to pull all their information and justification and this and that. And, you know, um, so it, it can be a little unnerving for someone who's going through a citizenship process. Absolutely. Having enumerators knocking on your door because as there's always that threat of, you know, or that constant uh, voice in the head that is saying, you know, maybe this is ICE or something. And so we don't want anyone to feel that way. Right. And then, you know, let's say somebody just didn't get around to it still, uh, and they do get that knock at their door, they should definitely answer. And even that's just a few minutes, I would imagine. It's a few minutes, clipboard, name, address, how many people live in the house, and, you know, trying to get that count so that everybody counts, and then you, you sign, and that's it. You know, Moment, uh, Moment this year, the census was pushed up a month. The deadline was pushed up from October. Right. 29 to uh, end of October to September 30th. Right. And so that's another reason why we have this big push to, you know, get people who might have procrastinated and thinking they had the month of October to complete the census. So it's not only about how simple and how quick it is to complete, but, you know, that, that deadline is much sooner than we thought. Mm -hmm. What's a way that uh, people who have um, questions about census, um, especially uh, bilingual people in the community, uh, how can they contact you? They can contact us at the Latino Center on 13th Street. Our phone number is 717-232-8302. And we have been helping families uh, complete the census. 
Um, or you can come right up to the center, right there at 1301 Dairy, where we're right behind the PNC Bank. Uh, right now we are closed, so you'd have to call the number and then they can arrange a you know, possible appointment or they can con connect you to how to do it yourself or to contact the uh, census office. Well, sounds good. Thank you again for joining us and thanks for your time. And hopefully we can get those numbers up and uh, you know, everyone can be counted. We got to get those numbers up. Everyone counts. Por favor, venga a United Census. Pueden venir al centro el día 23 de septiembre para llenar el censo. Si necesitan ayuda, pueden llamarnos al 717-232-8302. Estamos ahí para ayudarlos. Tengan total confianza en este proceso del censo. Es importante que lo llenen, por favor. Gracias. All right, gracias. Uh, thank you very much. Again, everyone, 2020census.gov for English, Spanish, and all other languages. Um, that's, that's the place to go to uh, fill out that census. Right. Uh, thanks again. <laughs>